But yeah, one day <clears throat> this businessman gets gets word that his on his schedule he's gonna be going out of town or out of state or whatever for a couple months. And he's normally going out on business trips and he leaves his wife at home, so he decided this time he's gonna he's gonna do something to make her happy while she's gone or while he's gone. So he goes off to the local sex shop, goes up to the store and he's like, Hey man, you know, I'm looking for something for my wife to, to keep her busy while I'm gone. He's like, oh, we got this nice selection of toys and stuff right here. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, it's not just like, you know, use it whenever. He's like, this, I want this to be special for her. Like, because he's like, I'm making it up to her. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, is price an option or does it matter? And he's like, no, price doesn't matter. He's like, come with me, come with me. So he takes him to the back. And there's, in this room, just one light shining down. And it's, an, it's shining on a box. And he's like, here it is. And he's like, oh, it's just a box. And he's like, watch this. Magic dildo out of the box. And all of a sudden, the box opens and a dildo flies out of it. And it's just floating there. And the guy's like, whoa, it's fucking crazy. And he's like, what else does it do? And he's like, magic dildo, the wall. So freaking it goes over to the wall and it just starts ramming into the wall until it breaks a hole in it. And he's like, dude, that's fucking strong. And he's like, yeah, he's like... Pretty much, you just tell it what you want it to do, and then whenever you're done, magic dildo, box, and it goes back in the box, and it turns off. And he's like, oh, dude, I want that. I gotta have it. You hooked me. So the guy buys it. Doesn't really think about getting the instruction manual, but he takes it home. Goes over to his wife, and he's like, I got a surprise for you. She's like, well, what is it? So he's like, magic dildo, out of the box. Comes out of the box, and she's freaking out. And he's like, yeah, whenever you want to use it, you just tell, you just say magic dildo, whatever you want it, excuse me, whatever you want it to do. So she's like, okay, well maybe I'll use that one day. So freaking, he makes it go back in the box, and she, she didn't get the rundown on it, she just knew that if you wanted to use it, you just told you how to use it. So, one day goes by, freaking, her husband's gone, and she gets lonely. So she's like, okay, I'm going to decide I'm going to use this. Magic dildo out of the box. So it pops out of the box. And then freaking she's like, Magic dildo, pussy. So it goes and it freaking starts going to town. You know, she's really enjoying it. But about five, ten minutes in, you know, it's getting pretty you know, she's done, like she can't take anymore. She's like, Fuck, I gotta go to sleep, I gotta get ready for work tomorrow. Well she didn't know how to tear her not turn it off, so she just goes to sleep with the dinner. She wakes up. Well, with hardly any sleep, so she's all distraught. She's putting on her clothes, freaking getting everything ready, trying to head out to work. Gets in the car, starts driving, and she's like swerving all over the place because she's tired and she's freaking having orgasms left and right. And finally, a cop sees her and stops her. Cop pulls her over. He's like, ma'am. He's like, do you know why I, was pull oh, I pulled you over? Slow it down. Slow it down. You're, you're, you're breaking up. Hold on, hold on. A cop, a cop sees her. Cop sees her and pulls her over. And he's like, ma'am, do you know why I stopped you? She's like, no, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't even think of the reason, you know. She's like, my head's just, it's, uh, she's like, she can't even talk because she's so flustered. Right. And he's he's like, ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the car. Uh, maybe intoxicated. She's like, no, no, there's just a magic dildo in my pussy. And he's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, magic dildo my ass. Oh, no. <laughs> Problem That's solved. That's not good. No goddamn that poor cop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm making a stop and there must be a drunk lady. <laughs> oh my god, somebody get the ambulance. <laughs> no fucking kidding. Magic dildo my ass. Oh man. That's fucking no problem, man. Poor guy. I heard that a long time ago, but I, I tried to recall it the best I could. It's a little, yeah, it's a little, it's a little long. Yeah, it's one of those so, ones you uh, gotta tell the kids at bedtime. No shit. So there's this retarded kid, retarded. I, I'm, I'm, my buddy, he's retarded, right? I'm just, this is how you tell the joke. My buddy's retarded. And he came up to me asking me, you know, he's having trouble getting pussy. I was like, man, it's alright, brother. Yeah, I know you get, I know you get a girl one day. He goes, nah, man, I just wanna get some pussy. No, he, you know, he's got a really bad at speech. He got a speech impediment. So I was like, told him, I was like, man, just do what you do. Just go out and get you a boat. Go out onto the, onto the shoreline. And uh, hit that horn, see if any girls want to go out and ride for you. Take them about 10 miles, pull out the keys, tell her, put out, 
or swim. <laughs> he goes, he goes, oh, oh, you, you, you think that, you think that gonna work? Yeah, man, it's gonna work, buddy, I promise. So this motherfucker goes out and buys himself a $900,000 boat. Damn. This fucking retarded kid. And, uh, so he goes to the shoreline, hits that boat, he and, and, and you, any you girls, any you girls want to go for a boat ride? This girl, this one good girl, this girl's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going. So, she gets on the boat. He takes her out 10 miles, so he goes, he takes the key of the ignition. He goes up to her, this, this, this is my first time, so I, I, I'm gonna need you put it all, put it all out, I'm gonna need you to swim. This woman, this girl, she's like, you know what, I'm not fucking with this retarded kid. She, she takes all her clothes off, fucks the living shit out of him. He's the happiest kid in the world. So he takes her back to the store. Next day. Next day. He getting a little cocky now. Goes back to the store. Hits that hits that boat. Hits that horn. And you and, and you girls will go for a boat ride? The girl's like, yeah. So the girl jump on a boat. Takes her ten miles out. Pulls the key out. Hey girl, you gonna have to pull it out or you gonna have to swim back? She goes, fuck it. Fuck this living shit out of him. So this motherfucker getting real cocky. He just wants to try some different pussy. He says, fuck it. He sees his bigger girl. He goes, hits that horn. Hey, bitch, you, you wanna go for a boat ride? <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck it. So she, he take her out 10 miles out, pull the key out of the ignition, says, girl, you gonna have to put out or swim. She, she started taking all her clothes off. Next thing you know, he goes, god damn, fucking fish come floating out the water. Most deadliest smell in your whole entire life. Her pussy was thinking so bad. He goes, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take you back. Now you go ahead and put your. She pull. She pulls a gun out. She said, "Motherfucker, you gonna eat this or you gonna swim?" <laughs> so I'm, so I'm, we're all sitting there. We're all sitting there. We're like, "So man, what'd you do? What, what the hell happened? Like, what happened, man? Like, what, what the hell happened?" He goes, "What do you mean what happened? You want me out there drowning now, do you?" He ate that shit. <laughs> that man's the pussy. Oh my god. Don't, don't, want me, don't want me out there drowning now, do you? I mean, he's retarded. He can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to get some pussy, man. God damn. Poor little family. <laughs> he got him some pussy, though. <laughs> uh, let me see. What was another one? I think he just jumped. I, I know another one. I think, but I think he just got on. Um, where is he? At? It says he's online, but you never can be too sure. <sighs> you ever heard of a? Uh, I know it's your turn, but you ever heard? Of, you, I know you know blonde girl jokes. Of course. Do you have you ever heard of a blonde man joke? Uh, no. All right, I'm gonna try to tell this one kind of quickly. I'm gonna shorten down a little bit. So there's three guys. Three guys. My daughter just like fucking screamed behind me. Like, what the fuck? She's asleep, like sleep, touch, sleep talking. I was like, what the fuck? And uh, okay, three guys: blonde, brunette, redhead. So they're all three of them are construction workers. They're working on a big old skyscraper. Oh man, this must be a black, white, Mexican guy. I already know this one. With the lunch. This is it. With the lunch, where the blonde yeah. dude jumps off and kills. He's like, he makes his own lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. It's supposed to be, they, they say that you can make it into a blonde man joke. That's the same thing with like I guess, I guess that, that, all of I them, pretty around. much. But uh, oh, this one, uh, oh, this yeah. guy's looking for a job, and uh, he goes down to his local industry district, and he sees a help wanted sign at a tomato factory. So he goes up in there, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm looking for a job. Do y'all have any openings?" He's like, yeah, we got one position available as a front cashier. He's like, we've been needing somebody to fill it for the longest time. He's like, uh, and if you want the job, there's only three things that you'll have to remember. That if they ask how much the, the tomatoes cost, they're 25 cents. And if they ask how fresh they are, you know, the freshest around, pretty much. You know, as fresh as fresh can be. And he's like, and if they say they're going to buy something, you tell them if they don't, somebody else will. So frickin', he's like, okay. So he's, he's on the job, he's working, and the guy comes in, he's like, hey, uh, how much for each of these tomatoes? And he's like, 25 cents, only 25 cents. And he says, okay, so uh, how fresh would you say they are? Ooh, they are as fresh as fresh can be. 
And he's like, oh, I think I'm going to buy a couple. If you don't, somebody else will. So that's the, the three things that he learned to say at his job. Well, one day, a robber comes in, gunpoint at him, and he says, boy, I swear to God, how much money you got in that cash register? 25 cents, only 25 cents. He's been so brainwashed into saying these things, that's all he can say. So freaking, he's like, boy, are you being fresh with me? As fresh as fresh can be. And he says, if you don't shut up, I'm going to put this bullet through you. If you don't, somebody else will. Lame, but I think I'm 